Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you my new project. I'm building a handheld gimbal or steady cam if you like to call it. For the components, I'm using the 3-axis Feiyu gimbal over here. I chose this gimbal because it's one of the cheapest gimbal out there that's reliable and it has a really neat design, no wires on the outside. I'm not going to go into the details of this gimbal because there are review videos on YouTube about this and you could go check them out. For the handle of the steady cam, I'm using a 25mm outer diameter carbon tube. And over here, you can see there are two brackets holding the gimbal tray to the CMC boom mouse. This bracket, the big one and the small one over here, these are 3D printed parts. And I'm going to upload their files onto Thing Universe later so that you guys can go download them. There's also a power switch here to power on the electronics. So this is the handle for the gimbal or the steady cam. Over here there is the servo tester and basically this is for controlling the mode of operation that you would like to use. According to the manual you need to hook up the electronics here to a receiver and then use your radio three-way switch toggle between the three modes. I do not want to use that because I don't want to carry a radio transmitter and have a receiver in the handle. So I use a servo tester and this allows me to toggle between the three modes by turning the potentiometer here. It's just a cheap servo tester and you can find them on eBay. For the servo tester to work, you need to feed it with 5 volts, which is why I have a voltage regulator here. It steps down the 2 cell LiPo pack over here to 5 volts. And for the battery, this is the very compact LiPo pack for the air guns. This is narrow enough to fit in through the tube. And overall, I, I should have a very neat and easy to use steady cam. Alright, here's the end product of my DIY steady cam. Let me show you the close-up. It has the six rubber grommets for anti-vibration. It looks kind of strange because this is normally seen not on a handheld gimbal but on an aircraft gimbal. But this is an aircraft <laughs> gimbal that I'm using. But overall I'm still very happy with the build because it looks really clean other than some wires here sticking from the port into the tube and some excess wires sticking out here it looks very clean there are no motor wires hanging around and remember the servo tester I have added a knob to it basically I like the potential meter of the servo tester pop out through a hole in the tube and then I stick on a knob so that I could adjust the the modes of operation if I remember correctly this would be the total lockdown and this would be the follow mode and this one would be just pitch lock And I've added a switch here, just a simple flip switch. And this is the two cell LiPo pack for the air gun, really narrow and it fits in perfectly and doesn't drop out even if I shake it. I have to give it a tug to really get it out of the tube though. Now let's power on this guy and show you what it can do. Okay, now I'm in the pitch lock, so if I tilt it up and down, yes, if I tilt it up and down, it doesn't, it stays there, the angle of elevation stays there. Okay, if I want to yaw to the right, I'll just turn it this way. Uh, now I'm in the total lockdown mode actually. So no matter how I turn it, 
tilt it up and down it just stays in that heading now this is good if you are recording a, a street performance or a concert where you want the camera to focus in one direction and stays completely stationary if you want to use it to film uh, an air show or to help your friend video his RC aircraft then you can't do it in this mode you have to go to the heading mode sorry the follow mode so in the follow mode it's basically like a normal camera when I tilt up the camera goes up when I tilt down the camera goes down okay when I yaw to the left takes a while but you will get there turn right see you come around down up okay and then finally the pitch lock this is the mode used for aircraft basically on a quadcopter where the pitch angle is locked and the camera just look straight ahead and you can still have some yaw motion as your aircraft moves to the right the camera turns to the right to the left and so on I'm going to take this to Sweden with me and I guess I will be using the follow mode it's more like a camera actually so I can face it in any direction and absolutely no vibration in the video and if I see a strict performance like I mentioned just imagine that my antennas here would be the performance and point at it, switch it to the total lockdown and no matter how I turn around, up, down, just stay, it just stays put there, the camera, focusing on the performance that I'm trying to capture. So there you have it. This is the DIY Feiyu 3 axis steady cam. And the reason for building this is the 3 axis steady cam from Feiyu would cost around 270 USD or so. And even for the 2 axis that will cost you about 180 USD. With this aircraft 3 axis gimbal, it only costs you 140 USD, and including the parts, another 20 USD for the for the carbon boom, um, the servo tester, and the power switch, flip switch here. That is still pretty affordable as compared to the one that costs you 270 USD, right? So once again, um, I will post up the the parts, the 3D printed parts, bracket that I'm using here and here. I'll post them on Thing Universe, and then others who like to build this handheld gimbal can go ahead and download the parts and build a similar one like I did. And now I'm in the follow mode. Now the cool thing about this 3-axis gimbal from Feiyu is it's cleverly designed such that there's, there are no stress on the wires inside. If I turn it 360, it locks there. And this way it locks there as well. So it won't allow you to, to turn round and round and then risk breaking the wires inside. Likewise for the um, the pitch locks there and 
Uh, for the row, basically there's binding. So the binding automatically protects the, the wires. Okay, let me go into the, what I call the concert mode. It's good for shooting a concert. So total lockdown. So now I'm going to point it at my crosshair antenna and turn on the power. Okay, so now it's locked at that direction and the camera stays put there. No matter how I turn it. Yep, there you go. Okay, that's all I have and I hope you enjoy watching this video. Thank you and see you again.